And now we're going to move on to our next category, using data for accountability and transparency. First up is Volodymyr Tarnay, joining us virtually from Ukraine to tell us about market research tool. Volodymyr? Uh, greetings, everyone. My name is Volodymyr. I'm a manager of the Open Contracting Partnership team based in Kiev, Ukraine. I'm a founder of the market research tool. The tool helps to compare prices per item of goods purchased by authorities via the public procurement system of Ukraine and detect inefficiencies. We all observed this problem during the COVID pandemic when prices for the same goods vary fivefold. This means that there are significant risks of inefficient budget spending, including corruption risks in contracts traded with above the market prices. We developed a tool that helps procurement uh, officers to navigate the market and get information about the offers with the lowest prices and invite such suppliers to participate in tenders, thus increasing competition, which leads to budget savings. And we all know a dollar saved is a dollar earned. This is what the tool looks like. Uh, a simple user interface empowers procurement officers with market analysis, price comparison, supplier statistics, and contract details. Uh, the prices are conveniently sorted down starting from the lowest ones. We made some calculations and found out that the annual volume of public procurement was around $13 billion last year in Ukraine, and COVID spending exceeded $1.8 billion. So the potential impact of the tool utilization is huge. There are more than 20,000 spending units waiting for this tool. Uh, we use the non-for-profit freemium business model, and our strategy is to provide the product free of charge for all interested parties and to sustain the project via integration with trading platforms and occasional donor funding. Our current aim is to fundraise 50K to transform market analysis practices of 500 Ukrainian procurement officers and boost their efficiency by at least 7% and scale the tool to the European market. This tool will be very much needed for the reconstruction of Ukraine. Uh, we have quite a wide auditory of users and beneficiaries for the tool. Central and local authorities may get an appliance that helps to perform supervisory functions. Procurement officers get an instrument for market research to improve financial planning, increase competition in procurement, and have more efficient spending. Auditors of the state financial control agencies receive a tool that helps to identify inflated prices and simultaneously contracts with high corruption risks. Journalists get a list of cases to look through and get a ready-to-go hot story. Businesses, especially SMEs, get a mechanism to find new business niches to expand to. Market research tool contributes to post-COVID recovery and creation of more democratic, effective and transparent institutions and achievement of sustainable development goals. We want to build a world where businesses enjoy the benefits of digital economy, authorities are accountable and efficient, and citizens are empowered to control it. We are looking for partners and investors that share our vision and values and are eager to unlock the transformational potential of public procurement. Thank you for your attention and happy to answer your questions. And we do have questions for you, Vladimir. <laughs> Stina, you're first up. Yes. Well, thank you so much for the presentation. I think that the uh, need for transparency in procurement and in public spending is needed everywhere in the world, also in, in Denmark. I, I really think that, that, that this has a global perspective, so to say. My, uh, my thought is really around, I mean, if the audience could help you make you succeed, what would you need from us today? Uh, thank you for your question. Um, indeed, I think that uh, such a tool uh, should be developed, and it has a potential that European countries, Poland, Lithuania, Italy, and um, it can uh, bring a lot for uh, all interested parties around, and uh, what's uh, needed uh, now is a, a great deal of promotion. So you can contribute to the development uh, uh, tool. Thank you. Thank you. Tony. Uh, yeah, my question is around, um, so obviously an incredible goal for, especially in this use case that you described of Ukraine rebuilding, for example, uh, savings makes a tremendous amount of sense, but other governments might have other goals like sustainability from a climate perspective. 
is there the ability in the future or are there future use cases that you can envision sort of um, uh, changing the incentive model or changing the focus area to something like sustainability, for example, if, if people wanted to procure uh, products that they were confident were more uh, sustainably produced? Uh, thank you, Tony. Um, uh, yes, indeed, it's possible uh, public procurement, um, uh, like uh, integration of uh, sustainable uh, spending uh, is uh, very much needed in public procurement and uh, digitalization of the sphere provides an uh, opportunity uh, to extract uh, the uh, data and uh, compare different contracts in terms of uh, its sustainability. Uh, so uh, that looks uh, like um, uh, one of the options for further um, development of the tool. Thank you can, so can much. I just ask a question oh, as well? Yes. Isn't, isn't there a ton of competitors in, in this market? It seems because this is an, as you also said, it's an old <laughs> problem, right? And I've seen a, a couple of pitches trying to solve the same problem here. So what did your research show there in terms of how many competitors are there? Uh, there are quite a couple of competitors. Uh, but um, they are providing, uh, you know, uh, uh, quite sophisticated uh, systems, uh, uh, risk management systems uh, and uh, uh, others. But uh, the edge of our tool is the simplicity. Um, it uh, provides immediate insights uh, right from the first second when you typed what you're searching for. Uh, and uh, it does not require any trainings. It provides... Uh, um, it affects right away. So that's our edge. Got it. Thanks. Okay, Vladimir, thank you so much for joining us from Ukraine.